We learned late today that four-year-old Giovanni Mejas has died yesterday near Kentwood as a result of blunt force trauma to his abdomen. His mother's 25-year-old boyfriend is in jail as a suspect in that homicide. New at 6 o'clock, Barton Dieters is talking to a man who helped raise the victim, and he says he was concerned this might happen. Barton. Well, David Onstott and Sonia Hernandez had a tumultuous relationship that did not survive, despite the fact they had three children together. He said, though, that he came to love the four-year-old boy who was fathered by another man. Um, when Giovanni was born, I was there. Um, I cut his umbilical cord. I raised him for about a year and a half or so. He was a good little kid. Good little kid, full of life. Joked around a lot. But Onstott and the woman did not stay together, and she retained full custody. He says things were okay until she met the man now in Kent County Jail, Ellis Nelson Ortez. Onstott said after these two were together, he saw cuts and bruises on her children. I've called uh, the cops, uh, have been involved, CPS multiple times have been involved, the school was involved. There were calls that children were left alone at the Cutlerville mobile home, Onstott said. He said the children were afraid of the boyfriend and their mother. Sonia was well aware. She was well, well aware of what was happening because she told him that was his responsibility to whoop them. He said he blames authorities for failing to act. I've told them multiple times that something's going to happen eventually. Something's going to happen and, and nobody's listening. Now the Office of Children's Ombudsman is opening an investigation into how CPS handled prior complaints at the boys' home. Meanwhile, Ortez is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.